Hello everyone, and today we have a problem that Julia wants to put five different cabbages, cabbage toys into the box of A, B, and C. No boxes should be empty. And how many ways can she put the cabbages in? So to start off with this problem, let's draw. We have the boxes A and B and C. We also have five different cabbages and let's call that one. Cabbage number one, cabbage number two, cabbage number three, cabbage number four, and cabbage number five. We want them to be inside the boxes and no boxes should be empty. So everyone has something to carry. So when it says no boxes should be empty, we do the opposite, which is from every boxes minus the opposite of no boxes, then we get no boxes should be empty. So well, what did I just say? That is where I, where I have all of them and all of them is the A, B, C, and we have one, two, three, four, five. I wrote it opposite. Okay, so no boxes should be empty. We don't care about that for now. We want the word all, okay? So where can the cabbage number one go to? We have A, B, C boxes. No, number one can go in three ways. Number two can go in three ways, A, B, C. Number three can go in three ways. Number four can go in three ways. Five can go in three ways. Just basically three to the power of five. And let's subtract that by the opposite of no boxes. So basically, let's count that we have no C. So we have no one, two, three, four, five going to the box A and B. If we want that, how many ways can number one go to? A, B, that's just two. And two can go in two ways. Three can go in two, two, two. So again, two to the power of five, but minus by two. Because if every number goes to number one, A, letter A, then we have a B that's alone and we don't want that. And now if we have all of the numbers that goes to B, we have A that is alone and we don't want that. And this is 30. So we have 30 here, minus 30. But what if C wasn't gone and B was gone? It's still 30, right? Yeah, but let's put a parenthesis plus 30. And again, if B was still here and A was gone, it is still 30. And also, what if we say that A, A, I mean, B and C was gone? So every number goes to A. And that is another minus 1. And this time, A and B is gone. So every number goes towards the box C. And that is another when we subtract. And now, if B and C is gone, we have A. And that's another thing that we subtract by. So let's do this math. And this is just, that is just 243 minus, that is 90, and minus 3. So we get 150 ways that Julia can put the cabbages in in the box without any empty boxes. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.